What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with another video, this time taking a look at Galaxy 2.0, GOG's new game store launcher, browser, connector, thingamajig. Hopefully this merges Steam and Origin and I'm not sure what else and I'm not even sure if Origin is supported but we're going to figure it out together. I got a closed beta invite so we're going to go ahead and launch it and see what's what. So right off the bat it does look kind of clean. I guess you could say that. I don't really have anything added in or friends or anything really on GOG. So we're gonna go ahead and add some games slash possibly search for some Steam friends. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it out together. Okay, so I can connect my Xbox Live account, my Epic Game Store account, Origin account, I was wondering about that, PlayStation Network, Steam, and Uplay. It does appear that Bethesda is missing, so I don't know if you're looking to add Fallout 76 or perhaps something that Bethesda launches through their launcher, I guess you can't do that through GOG. It's possible you can launch it like by adding an offline game type of thing similar to Steam, but it does seem nifty though that I'm going to be able to connect my Xbox Live, my PlayStation Network, Epic Game Store, Origin, and Steam, which is what I use mostly anyways besides Battle.net, so I guess we are missing Battle.net right now, which kind of sucks. It does look like one of the recent games someone quote unquote has played is Overwatch, so apparently you can add Overwatch, so I'm not sure if you can add the actual Battle.net account, but it does look like we have these here, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through this and add a bunch of accounts and see how it looks afterwards. So it is worth mentioning that through your Xbox Live, adding your Xbox Live account, it will not allow you to do any installing or launching. And this is important because I'm assuming if you have the Xbox Live Game Pass, you probably can't do any installing or launching of games. That seems really weird, but it does have your library. so. I'm confused. It might just double click and then launch the Xbox Live program and then launch the game, but I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, so then it also says you do not have access to your friends list or chat. That kind of blows because I have quite a few friends on Xbox Live and I was hoping to sort of, you know, merge and integrate all freaking platforms on one dealio so it does kind of suck i'm wondering what else is limited through steam and say origin like am i allowed to use you know origin chat or steam chat through gog if if it doesn't i guess really it is just a place to launch your games and you're still gonna have to you know log, log on if you need to look at your friends list or something which kind of makes these this a little bit pointless but again we're gonna trudge forward so it looks like all my accounts are in, it's just busy importing everything now. When it's finished importing, we'll be able to cut to the next frame and browse through and look at all the cool stuff that's added into one spot now. I will mention again that it does look like just about everything does not allow you to import your friends list or chat. Like a super user chat would be freaking awesome. I think if GOG adds that, there's no reason to use any of the other launchers and that's probably why they don't allow GOG to integrate that. Okay, so that does it for importing. Importing took roughly about 10 minutes. I do have a fairly chunky Steam library uh, sitting around a thousand games, a very small epic game collection, and a decently sized origin collection. So if you have a chunky Steam library and you are adding all accounts, it may take up to 10 minutes to import all of your stuff. So just be aware of that. It does take a little bit of time to input all of the accounts anyways. So by the time I was done with all the accounts putting in the usernames and passwords I was sitting at around 50% anyways and that's when I started the stopwatch so roughly 10 minutes to import everything so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at everything so already off the bat it's missing the cover art for a cell world versus sword art online deluxe edition so I'm gonna go ahead and try and figure that out right now might as well before we kind of scroll through everything
Now that doesn't look good at all and I'll probably go back through there and make that look a little bit better but it is fairly easy to go ahead and add those so I wouldn't say that this is that big of a deal and it was getting pretty much everything else so let's continue taking a look. So it is missing quite a bit of the tile pane so it's going to be a little while before I get this sorted out probably but we'll go ahead and skip past this but I did want to show that if you do have an empty one it's pretty easy to just add it yourself with a Google image search and drag and drop so that's pretty nice. It's kind of nice that you can go ahead and switch between you know game browse launcher tabness on the side there that's pretty cool I really like that actually it's worth mentioning that it looks like they're allowing the SDK to be downloaded and people to kind of integrate things via the community as well manual so even if the feature doesn't exist or exist in an official platform, it's possible that the community itself could come up with a method for integrating other features, such as chat, perhaps. So if they were able to import friends from all the other launchers, I think this would be an end all be all one launcher to rule them all. And for the most part it is, but it doesn't add that social aspect that's pretty much a standard in gaming. So unfortunately I don't think I can recommend this as an end all be all, but as far as a beta this is looking very very promising. I really hope that everyone starts to use this and I hope more platforms allow integration of the friends list, chat, and whatnot because if that happens then this is definitely one launcher to rule them all.